The physics department at the University of Liverpool is home to some of our leading scientists and trains the ones who'll lead in future. Within here, we apply electromagnetic fields. A major project here is developing new particle accelerators to rival the likes of the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva. It, like many other big European collaborations, is funded under the EU's Horizon programme. But post-Brexit talks on the funding have stalled and a big part of the project here has been taken away from the UK. Unfortunately, because of the UK not being associated with the Horizon Europe Framework programme, we had to give up that coordinator role and transfer the project over to Italy. For scientists like Welsh, the UK government's promise to match funding if we end up leaving the EU programme will still undermine a history of leading big science collaborations. Science is international, it requires collaboration, and collaboration at least has been made more difficult by the ongoing discussions. So I think at the moment there is a real risk of UK scientists and institutions losing out because of the uncertainties that have been created. Our research institutions are already suffering the fallout from the funding row with Europe, and that could go on to impact other parts of the economy. Now, the last Prime Minister said he was committed to making Britain a science superpower. What scientists and engineers want to know now is do the new leadership share that commitment? Observers worry a looming crisis in UK science is being neglected at the expense of other political priorities. The worst-case scenario? I think we will see a brain drain of our brightest talents going overseas. Um, I think we will see more of our, our best, you know, technology-based companies finding that uh, it's easier to get their, their scale-up funding overseas. We need to be seen as a great partner because really outstanding science uh, is not something that one country does on its own. The uncertainty is proving toxic. So far, 22 UK-based researchers who'd won direct grants have decided to leave the country. One from the prestigious Crick Institute in London leading a research project on malaria. I have no beef with the UK. I mean, the UK offered me a significant and really good opportunity. I made a decision, I'm going to move away. And of course, I will take people, some of the people with me, um, and I will attract people into the other country. And I think while short term the impact might not be so massive, I think in the future, there's less people who are willing and wanting to build a, a career in the UK. In a statement, the government department responsible for science told us its preference is to remain within the Horizon programme and blames the EU for not honouring commitments made previously. But as scientists see it, the longer the impasse continues, the greater the damage to the UK's research reputation. Tom Clark, Sky News.